Hello, my name is Christoph Solstreff Pirke. I'm an architect, performance artist, and theorist based in Graz, Austria. Uh, I'm currently completing my artistic doctorate at the Institute for Contemporary Art in Graz. Um, and I'm very happy to be here now in Iceland. And I was really enjoying um, the previous weeks here at my residency. Um, I was working uh, for an article basically for my, uh, for my doctoral thesis, um, which was dealing with the context of Iceland. Um, but I wasn't so much looking at the landscape and so that what was really visible in that sense, but at some point in, in my work actually I became really interested in what lies beyond or behind what we can see. So um, I'm really uh, interested in the, the notion of contemporary landscape. Um, and how this landscape is bound to, um, to yeah, man-made design, to culture, to ideology, to history. Um, so I'm basically investigating all the ambivalent spaces of our environment um, within the present could say ecological trauma. So I'm um, yeah, trying to find out um, what lies um, beyond the surface, basically. Um, so I'm writing about that, but I'm also um, trying to formulate a specific investigative praxis or methodology. Um, and yeah, that's why I introduced performance art and performative praxis into my design method. Um, and yeah, here in Iceland, I was especially interested um, in the history of the financial crisis, which took part here several years ago. So that what we can see um, in Iceland is not just the marvelous landscape that is surrounding us here, but um, actually a history and yeah, certain layers of, um, of uh, capitalist warfare, one could say. So um, at some point of my research and um, during the process of the preparation of my article here, I actually came across the notion of periphery, which was um, very uh, intriguing to me, um, because um, periphery originally doesn't have this um, marginal connotation of something that is you know, unimportant or something at the border that it's not really worth conceiving it, but um, originally it comes from the ancient Greek um, for to carry. Um, and um, when we think and talk about carrying, you uh, very soon come across a methodology that has an almost ethical attitude. Um, and that actually became very important to me because um, with my um, praxis and my artistic approach, um, I am actually trying to apply this carrying approach or this carrying uh, methodology. Uh, which means that I'm considering all the different um, players or agents, you could say, of, of our environment um, equally or as partners within a um, 
even democratic dialogue. So um, this means specifically to my research here in Iceland that when I'm dealing with that ecology or environment of capitalist or monetary driven warfare, that I actually have to embed myself into that violent um, dimension of, um, of our environment. So not to negate something or not to hide something, but actually to confront myself with that. Um, that's not always an easy approach, but that's um, definitely um, an, an approach that brings new encounters with it. And with that new encounters, it also brings maybe new knowledge with it. Um, so, yeah, uh, again, I, I try to, to bring together all that different aspects of our um, of our man-made environments, try to yeah, to reflect upon upon them, try to encounter them, and in that encounter, trying to find a new um, way of relating to our planet. And so, in that sense, you could say that's a kind of ecological way of. Um, thinking about art and doing art, but um, ecological in the sense that it follows a certain logics of, um, yeah, of dialogue, of um, yeah, hearing, of listening to all the aspects that are surrounding us. So, um, I'm very happy to to have that opportunity to investigate it on site um, here in, in the specific context of Iceland and to have that wonderful opportunity to um, yeah to to be there for myself to uh, to think to write and to yeah maybe define new ways of thinking about what contemporary art can be.